हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू मल्टी स्कूल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन लारावेल 11 लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट अ लिस्ट एंड क्रिएट न्यू स्कूल इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर एडिट एंड डिलीट पार्ट्स एंड आफ्टर योर टाइम लाइक अ स्मॉल वीडियो सो वी कैन कवर एज अ सर्च फिल्टर इन दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर वी कैन स्टार्ट यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदरवाइज इन दिस सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो व्हाटएवर कंटेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो ऑलवेज गेट द नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट इमीडिएटली न्यू थिंग लर्निंग and also do you want to buy any script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it okay so let's start now here is already two button there edit and deletes so simply you can go to resources views inside you can see school inside list.blade.php let's make some zoom out so you can see it proper way now here is a button there so just you can change as a links both okay and here you can remove the on clicks i don't want to need so just you can remove it now you can provide here url so href first we can do it edit okay url and we can check what is the url there in our site let's make some zoom so you can see it clearly panel school edit after we can pass id so simply you can make edits and after we, we need to pass id which id do you want to edit so just copy and here you can paste and after you can change here create it add to id let's go back again we can refresh the page it's working not working simply you can refresh the page and now working very well i just press the id means like edit buttons and you can see it here is a also found like new parameter as a id and also you can see it like a url so just copy this url and you can create a new routes inside a web.php and just put here simply you can copy above once and you can put here and here you can change and here you can change three number to id and here you can do it like a edit school now we want to create a new function inside a school controller here we have passed like a parameter okay is a id just go to school controller inside you can create a new function school controller inside functions edit school and here is a id means school id why we need because we have already passed here new parameter you can see it like edit id which id against do you want to edit this reasons now just go up and you can copy for all thing for the school list otherwise school add whatever do you want to like you can use it and here you can change school to edit school and here you can put like get single because single record we need to get this reason get single and here you can pass id now we need to create a new function inside user model so just go to user controller sorry user model and here you can create a new function static function get single id and here you can do it like a return self find dollar id self means class name means this class name suppose you can use directly like this so also can possible like self otherwise you can use here you can see the last video i show you self but here i can do like class wise so you can understand what i am talking about like self you can use so also possible and suppose do you want to use like class name means model name so also possible okay so let's go back then and here is a get school inside you can get the data and here you can create a new file edit and after we can put inside a created blade.php inside all the code inside edits so list.blade.php means edit.blade.php this is the first time i am doing this reason taking time next time is you are doing all copy paste work so you can like a proper way of doing here you can change to create to edit and here also you can change create to edits okay let's go back again we can check it's working not working just you can refresh the page so you can see edit school edit school and here you can found all the data means not data all the html's now we need to put our data inside a database already there so simply you can put here comma 
because of the old inside after you need to pass like a comma after so it's possible like a second parameter suppose name is not there in formulation time so you can use like a second parameter simply you can use like this and here also you can do it like this and here profile pic we can show directly so don't worry here password we don't need so just you can remove the required fields also you can remove here and here you can change type to text and if we can type here one message support do you want to change password so please enter otherwise leave it like this we can write a message but let's do first this one after i can write okay here you can change address and here also we need to short out like a condition so we know which one need a active so status is equal to, equal to one so here is selected selected and bottom is a zero means he is selected okay so here also selected let's go back again we can check this working not working so i refresh the page so you can see it i think we need to change here emails because here is already there name this reason so here you can change is the email email means database column name and here you can write one message i can copy my other project i don't want to copy do you want to want to change password so please enter change password so please enter otherwise leave it so please enter otherwise leave it like this message is good okay do you want to change password so please enter sorry enter enter otherwise leave it leave it blank okay so let's go back again and here you can see it like a message bottom okay i think we need to put outside because i have put inside this reasons simply here and just go back refresh the page so you can see it okay anybody can understand what is the message so do you want to add password so you can update the password otherwise you can leave it now we need to show now profile pic so just you can go to again list file list.blade.php and just copy all thing and put inside a edit.blade.php and here you can change the variable like get school so get school and here also you can change okay sorry value to get school and if it's the page here is not there suppose you can go to like this one edits so you can see it here edits by like a profile is available so it's working very well okay now you can click on the submit so we need to update the record whatever your name changes you can change the email address you can change the address so we need to update the record so what we can do it here simply you need to create a new routes right now our action is blank so same as a same route we can use here we can change to get to post and here we can type edit to update update school now go to school controller and here you can create a new function just copy all above one and paste here and you can put here update school right now i'll comment out for this code for the validation after i can show you how we can make a validation okay and here you can make like same as whatever there and here you can remove like created by who is there just you can remove it password also make condition suppose password is there so we need to add otherwise we can't update so simply you can put here is not empty and you can put inside okay and here you also you can write same function this is an i will create a common function just you can change and here also available all parameters so you can put put here id after comma and request is good dollar request so everything is good now here you can change school successfully updated updated okay let's try is working not working just go back again refresh the page here and i can type test one and i press the enter so you can see test one press the enter school successfully updated means edit is working very well let's make inactive submit so you can see inactive means working very well suppose i can make again active so it's working very well now we need to check email address suppose i can add this email address so no need to work inside a test at the test.com suppose i can add like this so generate the error i think so because of database wise school violation available this reason 
so we need to sort out for this issue okay so how we can sort out issue so we need to make a validation so just uncomment and here you need to pass like id which id against you don't want to check so let me check my other code and i already did so let's copy for this one i think same thing there just we need to pass id and uh, let's go to school controller and here you can paste here so unique users emails and inside you can see this id otherwise same as old one you can see it here just you can add a like emails comma and comma after you can put id is a concat so let's show you it's working not working let's go to school and you can copy for this email address and you can try here new one so you can see it here showing the errors this email address already has been taken it is working very well now okay and here whatever you add this there let me go to here and we can upload the profile pics is working not working we can check in update time so also you can see it is working very well you can see it here profile pic let me short out this thing i don't think is like round i think round is good we don't want to change anything so here you can see it like edit is done now we need to work delete like you can press the delete so this record need to remove so before we can delete so we need to ask are you sure do you want to delete so let's search in google and we can make a one success message are you sure do you want to delete like this way and after we can short out okay i think i need to copy for this one one click event and just go to list and here i can put after we can create a oh sorry is not copying sorry about that reopen closed tabs and just scroll down i think this message is good one minute taking time to copy sorry about that i copy i put here and i i can type here are you sure do you want to delete are you sure do you want to delete and let's see it's working not working just you can remove this one and here you can copy above one and you can put it here and here you can change edit to delete okay so let's try is working not working because we have need to confirm this reason i have like this message let's go back again and refresh the page here and here you can say are you sure do you want to delete you can see message showing suppose you click on the okay so is a redirect new routes we have already done so just you can go to web.php and you can create a new function and here you can change post to get and here you can change to delete and here you can type like a delete school now go to update school inside you can create a new function delete school function delete school here you can type like a id now just copy for the edit one because edit inside you can do it easily so just copy for this one this id is already there and here you can update like is delete is equal to 1 because we have already show you in last video just we need to maintain a status i don't want to delete permanently this reasons okay like one and here save because future we need to make undelete so you can go to database and you can do it this reasons okay and here you can change the message school successfully deleted and let me go to controller sorry model so i can show you you can see it we are getting only zero data now we have put here one you can see it here let's try it's working not working just go back again refresh the page and i try to remove this are you sure do you want to delete so you can see it is a record successfully deleted you see and here is record not found so we have done create edit delete we have done now we need to work in a filter and we need to work as a pagination so next video i can show you how to make filter with pagination because filter wise pagination need to work so i can show you in next video in this video i have cover edit and delete support do you have any question for this video so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank